California will soon have its first two Latina sheriffs and they will serve in the Bay Area. One is Christina Corpus, the sheriff elect in San Mateo County who overcame a big feat to unseat the incumbent. KTV's Christina Rendon joins us now. She's live outside the department's headquarters with her story. Christina. Well, Julie, Christina Corpus tells us that there were a lot of people who told her that there was no way she could pull this off. But here she is now sheriff elect in this county. She says she ran a clean grassroots effort campaign, and she always felt there was a lot of yearning for change here in the county. And change is exactly what she's looking mo most forward to. Excited. I am overwhelmed. There's a new sheriff in San Mateo County, Christina Corpus, a Latina who just made history. I'd be the first female sheriff of this county since 1856, since it was established, and I think that says a lot. Corpus is a 21 year law enforcement veteran. She's currently the chief of police in Millbrae and a captain in the San Mateo County Sheriff's Office. She launched her campaign last year against her boss, incumbent Carlos Bolanos. Everyone in the beginning said there's no way you can do it and that just really pushed me to work harder. I, you know, had some pushback, a lot of pushback, and uh, I just had to learn how to overcome those obstacles that were put in front of me and I was determined. Now she's looking ahead at reforms. Corpus wants to change the department's policy on the use of stun guns after the 2018 death of a man named Chinedu Okobi, who was tased several times for jaywalking. Officers did not face charges. Once you are tased once, and I think that that's enough. Because when you tase somebody more than that, then there's more of a chance that they would go into excited delirium. Another priority, creating community advisory boards in three different parts of the county to get to know the challenges those communities face and focusing on attracting and hiring more officers. She wants officers to know they're supported when it comes to their mental health and plans to use mental health crisis professionals to respond to some nonviolent calls. We have to look for people that have the passion but also have the good hearts and that are going to do the right thing when they're out in the communities that we serve. At 16, Corpus says she was carjacked at gunpoint and the officers who helped her treated her with compassion and empathy. That set her on a path toward a career in law enforcement. I realized that there wasn't a lot of women in law enforcement, especially women that look like me, and I wanted to give back. More than 20 years later, the daughter of immigrants from Nicaragua and Mexico is the county's top cop. She joins Sheriff-elect Disenia Sanchez in Alameda County. Once sworn in, they will be the first two Latina sheriffs in California. We did the unthinkable. You know, we unseated incumbents that were part of the status quo that had, you know, a large war chest of money. There's a lot of work to be done, but I'm ready for the challenge. Incumbent Sheriff Carlos Bolanos did not respond to our request for comment, but one of his biggest supporters, District Attorney Steve Wagstaff, did reach out to us. He did say that he's already called Corpus and said that he's looking forward to working with her next year, saying, quote, specifically, we have worked together in the past and I know we will be great colleagues in the future. Julie. Yeah, she's making history in California and paving the way for others who want to do the same. Christina, thank you.